Hey guys, John Marks, 2210.com, where we talk watches and all things time. Welcome to episode one of Throwback Thursdays, where we throw back to some of the most notable events in horological history. Episode one today, and we thought what better place to start than who invented the wristwatch. Surprisingly controversial, let's find out why. So it's 1868 and Patek Philippe, they're commissioned to build a wrist-mounted timekeeping device for Countess Koskevich of Hungary. It's a uh, beautiful piece. It still exists in the Patek Philippe Museum's collection. Uh, the whole transaction is documented. I think it was 1,200 Swiss francs at the time, which was a fortune for that time. Um, and because it's so well documented, the Guinness World Records are happy to rest their hat on the fact that this is the first wristwatch ever made because it's so well documented. And that's where the controversy lies. If you head over to the Brigade website, you'll find a article unashamedly named First Wristwatch. And this is a recount of um, Abraham Lewis Brigade's ledger, where he's got documents of a watch called the number 2639, which he uh, was commissioned to build for the then Queen of Naples, Caroline Marais. It's a pretty detailed ledger and it talks about it costing 5,000 Swiss francs and he talks, he gives it a bit of detail, he talks that it uh, was an exceptionally thin repeater watch with complications, he talks that it was mounted on a uh, wristlet of hair and golden thread, so it really sort of paints quite a vivid picture of what the watch could have looked like, but the fact is that there are no photos of the watch. Um, there's, there's evidence that it resurfaced in 1849 for servicing. And then again in 1855, but this 1855 um, recount was basically the last time the watch is ever documented to exist. It's not within the Breguet collection these days. Um, the watch really just hasn't resurfaced. So if it was to resurface today, it may rewrite the history books. But as it stands at the moment, there's not enough evidence for uh, any bodies like the Guinness World Records to be able to claim it as the first wristwatch ever. So we've talked about the first uh, wristwatches ever made, but you'll notice that they were both uh, designed for women. So the first wristwatch ever made for men, that one goes to the 1880 Gerard Perigo. This piece was uh, commissioned by Emperor Kaiser Wilhelm I. It was originally intended to go to the uh, German naval officers. This takes a cake for not only the first male wristwatch, but the first uh, wristwatch to be produced in commercial quantities. So uh, Gerard Perigo, they uh, created 2,000 of these pieces. Very functional design. They've got the big cage across the front, um, meant to be very rugged for the, uh, for the naval officers. But aesthetically, this probably goes down as the closest thing to what we know a wristwatch to be today and, um, and, and really deserves some notoriety in that sense. It uh, really failed to gain any popularity in the 1800s amongst men. It wasn't really till the early 1900s that anyone really started to wear um, watches as we know them today. And, um, and, and for that reason, the 1880 Gerard Perigo deserves a bit of notoriety. So that rounds out Throwback Thursdays episode one. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to follow us, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check us out at 2210.com. If you want to see more Throwback Thursdays and you enjoy this one, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified every time we do a new one. Till next time, guys, 2210.com.